So many months ago, I introduced this as my second prototype of uh, bar shear. I uh, use this uh, for cutting out my rivet blanks, uh, which is 8 millimeter stock, which you see here. This tool has been really useful for me. Uh, originally, I was going to use it with a bar, and that nub at the top was longer. And I was going to use it to, uh, by pulling, but I just didn't have the leverage for that. And so just use it as a, uh, what you might call a striking shear, and just been really good. And this here is the third proto prototype, which I had done a long time ago, but I just never finished it out. Just kind of got uh, sidetracked. So I'm going to finish this out and use this one today. My original plan was to sell this anvil rotary shear, and so this third prototype is a little bit smaller. The thickness of the D2 is 17 millimeters, whereas that second prototype is 19, and the hardy shank is a little bit shorter, and that striking uh, plate doesn't have that nub at the top, which is probably superfluous. All of that was done to try to save weight since international shipping is expensive, and so I wanted to try to cut weight without uh, cutting performance. I've used this one since August and it's been, like I said, really good, but I want to take it apart now and examine it a little bit. I've honestly almost exclusively used this to cut my 8mm stock and examining that hole, it's, it's still really crisp at the edges. It doesn't show much wear and tear at all. And you can see I didn't weld the inside of that there where that strike plate uh, connects to the rotary part. The whole edges are just still really crisp. You can see I've had the inside of this one welded. This bolt I've been using is not quite right. The unthreaded area is a little bit too short, and so the threads have been worn down there from constant use. Really not a big deal, but the newer bolt should be just a little bit more smooth. So I've dressed this third prototype. Fits in my hardy hole nicely. I've cleaned off the weld on the inside there so it mates flush. You can see I used a hacksaw to cut this bolt to length, so it should be just about right. I heat treated the rotary pieces before I had the parts welded on, the hardy shank and the striking plate. I just thought it would be better because if I was to heat treat after it was welded, the parts might warp. One small improvement is that the holes are closer to center on the third prototype. Uh, this should help with leverage just a little bit. I'll use the second prototype once just to let you see again. And that's basically how it's worked since August. Two or three strikes on this 8mm stock and easily shears it. Now time for the newer lightweight version. Not bad, considering I struck a little lighter on this first go, just to see. The nut has an integral washer, which allows me to tighten it down, but not to the point where the parts won't move. As a true New Yorker would say, a little earl never hurt.
Very nice. Let's go for a half inch here. If you were looking to constantly cut half inch, then I don't think this would be the tool for you. It works, but it takes a decent amount of effort. But it cuts this hot 8mm like butter. get me wrong, it'll cut this half inch, but it's more of a novelty at that size than anything else. So after one use, I have a couple of thoughts. I should lengthen probably the hardy shank because it, it tended to jump a little bit, especially when I was using the half inch, and it could possibly jump out of the hole being so short. And another thing is the nut. I think I would change it out to uh, the one that has the plastic integral washer rather than the metal one. The plastic one just seemed to stay cinched down better. That's all for now, folks. Catch you guys next time.